Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, of course, I immediately st start off with my voice cracking. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. My apologies uh, for the slight delay <laughs> uh, on stream today. Uh, had a couple, had just something I needed to knock out real quick before uh, before I got started, and I looked at the time, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm not gonna have time for this, am I?" Um, but I got it taken care of, um, so we're we're sitting pretty now. Um, I'm ready to play some more po Pokemon Black too. I had a lot of fun yesterday, so we're gonna we're gonna keep on rolling with it. Um, good to see all the cool folks in the chat as usual. All all my 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 or one maybe not all of them, but a good amount of my awesome regulars are here. Good to see all of y'all. Um, but yeah, let's um. Let's do it, shall we? Um, <laughs> uh, looking at the team, we are all grinded up. I did go ahead and get them uh, taken care of as far as um, levels go. I went up to 26. I thought that was reasonable. Um, it'll give us like some wiggle room to fight some stuff in the desert. It'll also give us some wiggle room to like be a little closer to Elisa without having to grind like substantial. I think she's 28. I didn't. I don't think I actually looked. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think I just like kind of operated around the idea that she's got level 28 Pokemon. Um, I guess I could look real quick. That's a good idea. Um, I'm also on my first cup of coffee right now. So mind me as I um, slowly wake up throughout the course of the stream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh, 30 actually. Okay. So, I mean, she's got level 28, uh, level 28 Imolga, level 28 Flaffy, and then a level 30 Zebstrika. But 26 isn't too bad, so it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, but yeah, the team's looking nice. Um, we're all itemed up, too, which is good. Uh, Ravioli here. Uh, Rocky Helmet. Uh, return, roll out, flame charge, and arm thrust. Um, slow down, flame charge, spark, protect, and toxic. Um, welcome, Jackie. Good to see you. Um, holding that Eevee light, of course. Uh, over easy with yawn. Return, extrasensory metronome, and the leftovers. Uh, we have Scale Deer, Ember, Leech, Life, Toxic, Protect, Eviolite. Uh, Davent, Shadow Ball, Toxic, Protect, and Psybeam. Nardle, Return, Shadow Ball, Toxic, and Protect. Um, so yeah, looking looking good, looking good. The squad is nice. Let's be gaining into energy. It's true. Oh yeah, no, I um, yeah, I woke I woke up not too long ago, and I was so caught up with what I was doing that I did not have time to make coffee or really even think about. I didn't honestly, I just didn't think about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so um, I had my first. I I brewed my first cup and sat down, got ready for stream. <laughs> so yeah, good. So and I haven't really had time to like sip it either. So oh, my controller's being stupid again. No. Well, I wonder what causes that. It's so weird to me. <laughs> it's so weird. Can y'all? I'm curious. Can y'all hear the little my uh, window? I think you probably can. Windows going like doo doo doo. Um, can you? Can y'all hear that? I'm curious. I'm curious. Jackie says time to beat the gym leader who also happens to be a model. Like, yeah, very good stuff. But first we gotta fight Colrus. Um, very good stuff. Okay, yeah, y'all can hear the little doo doo doo. See, like, what could possibly call? I'm using a uh, wireless uh, eight bit do ultimate controller. For, for stream and uh yeah no like i'll be it'll be working perfectly fine for like a while and then just all of a sudden like i mean y'all heard it it just do 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 and then my controller just turns off and then it turns itself back on like a few seconds later and it's like why <laughs> what is the cause what is the reasoning behind it i don't understand hey thorough zach welcome in good to see you good to see you good to see you uh but yeah very strange all right cool rest let's let's go Oh, that's right. I gotta fight you in the desert. Oh yeah, cause you wanna, cause you're using freaking steel type Pokemon, and you wanna, you want me at a disadvantage, cause you're your stupid stinking, um, uh, d desert, desert buffet, as I like to say, d the buffeting in the desert. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> desert buffet. Let's go. Uh, Therizak has redeemed, has redeemed drink water. Thank you so much, Therizak. Appreciate that. Oh no, Oak. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> Um, Thorzak says, have some water before going to the desert. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. For a second, I thought my controller was all acting up again, and I didn't realize that I pressed the start menu. Nice. Uh, also, yeah, we, he uses a lot of steel types. I have, yeah, ravioli out front. Perfect. That works for me. Um, okay, so off into the desert we go. Oh, shit, are we gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to fight the breeder again, too, before we get to him. Because <laughs> she, she's literally blocking the path. I can't get past her without fighting her. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> Going in a... Oh, wait, actually, is the desert blowing in this version? It's definitely blowing in white, too. But maybe it's not... Maybe... Oh, I guess it's not. 
It doesn't look like it's all sandy and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I guess it's not. I guess that's a. I guess that's just white too. Uh, in white too, it's all deserty here. Um, I guess in black too, there's no sandstorm. Yeah, wild, yo. I, I guess I just because I haven't played black two and white two like personally in a long time, aside from my white two playthrough that I'm playing right now, uh, like outside of stream. Um, and yeah, no, I just, I guess it's just been so long since I played Black 2, I didn't remember that it doesn't have a desert, it doesn't have the, the, it doesn't have the desert buffet, that's kind of sad, but in a way, you know, it's nice too. <laughs> Anyways, um, I should probably switch for this one. Uh, into over easy. Oh, so you think Lids would have realized this in the in the grinding against the breeder? Yeah, no, I, I guess I was just mashing through with speed up. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I just wasn't really paying attention. I was the, like the thing you have to understand about my my greeting or greed greeting grinding session. Very nice. Um, my grinding session is that um, I uh, I basically just turn my brain off for it. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll just be like doing something like watching a show or something or watching YouTube and then just like be mashing a and then look look every once in a while to, to my monitor to make sure that everything is still alive <laughs> um, So yeah Very good stuff uh, There's ex this coffee less lids nerf is real. I know yeah, no, I've, I've, I'm on my first cup I'm, I'm making my way through it. I'll be I'll be awake soon I may have to make another coffee run though cuz I'm definitely gonna need more than one cup Definitely gonna have to get another cup at some point. Can I get past? I don't know if I can get past her, Jackie. That that might also be a white two thing. I don't see a path past her. You know what I mean? This is dude is here, and I don't think. Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be like directly in front of her. I don't think. I don't think it's possible. I think that's only in white two. Um. Hey, Schmelody, good to see you. Hey, Yumi, good to see you as well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Soul has answered today's question of the day. You go right in front of the hiker that dodge. Oh, real? Oh, does it really? Oh, dang. Well, I guess now I know. <laughs> well, hey, a, a little free XP never hurt nobody. Um, but yeah, ravioli. Let's go. You know what? You know what? How how confident are you in that, Jackie? Let's see. I'm curious. <laughs> I'll, I'll reset her. We could we could see it in real time. <gasps> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, very nice, very nice. Uh, Thursday says the dude will move if you use Rock Smash on him. Totally, <laughs> totally. Hi, Colores. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustle. They look a lot more awkward in this version. They look a lot more. I mean, not that they don't always look kind of awkward, just being a bunch of Minecraft blocks, but um. You know, they they look a little bit more natural in like a raging desert. <laughs> and nearsighted breeders, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's a mood. Make that a hashtag on Twitter. All right, let's go, Colress. Yeah, buggy blocks, buggy blocks, buggy blocks. I was going actually. Speaking of Crustle, I was going through my um, I was going through all my nicknames, and I actually noticed I had a couple of doubles. <laughs> So I did actually make some adjustments to some of our Forever Lock Pokemon's nicknames. I kept them like basically so, like similar, but uh, Crustle was one of the ones I had to change. Um, we had <clears throat> oh no, my voice. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, we had we had a Clauncher and a Crustle named Eugene, and I was like, well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't like to double up on nicknames, so. Uh, I, I have changed uh, our Crustle's name to Crabs. Um, you know, the, the pun is intact. Um, but, you know, also, I like it better when it's not a literal double. <laughs> yes, very good stuff. Yeah, Crust, uh, you named your Crustle Crab Cake? That's adorable. I love that. That's a really good name for a Crustle, Yumi. <laughs> uh, clink. Uh, so it says, be careful, Lids. Col uh, Chorus is uh, is uh, is Magna Mighty. Ha 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 ha. Very funny, Soul. Very funny. <laughs> you must be able to find the clink in his armor. Oh my God, Soul, stop! <laughs> it's too much. 
<laughs> That's beautiful. Hey, very nice. Ravioli crushing it. Easy peasy. I see. Just like the gym leaders in each area or the elite foreign champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them. That's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. Thanks for the drugs. Appreciate it. Uh, Yumi says for question day, says uh, Rourke. Uh, which, yeah, by the way, I, I forgot to mention, today's question day is match an NPC Pokemon trainer with an item that would be their favorite. So, like, you know, just a held item that you think makes sense for, like, any particular Pokemon NPC. Um, I tried to phrase it as good as I could. That was the best I could come up with. It's kind of a tricky question to word, and I had to fit, fit it in the box, too, so I had to keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but Yumi says, uh, Rourke, give his Cranidos a rocky helmet to protect his head from all its headbutting. That makes so much sense. I think it's really cute. I think that's really, really cute. Give, uh, I would give, uh, hip, uh, I was say, is there a good Hitmonlee trainer? Maybe not. I guess Bruno. Give Bruno the heavy-duty boots for his Hitmonlee so he can kick real good. <laughs> he can kick real, he can kick with, like, steel toes. That'd be, that'd be very painful. <laughs> um, I think I'm also gonna fight some of these trainers as well. Um, level 30, I do, I do kind of want to start preparing for Elisa a little bit, so I, I may even go stop by the, the desert resort as well, just, uh, just for, for good measure. Yeah, very good stuff. Uh, Sergeant says for question today, says Elisa should be uh, like the light orb for the power up to an electric type uh, and the fact that she can pun with it. Oh, yeah, very good. Very good. Well, doesn't light orb only affect. Wait, hold on. What am I thinking of? Is, is light orb not the Pikachu one? I'm pretty sure that's Pikachu only, isn't it? I mean, it's fine if she uses Pikachu as an electric type gym leader, but yeah, I think I think so. I don't know. I, I I don't use that item very often, so I'm not. I don't remember exactly for sure. Um, okay, uh, give it the flame charge. Very good. Uh, Arcanan says I'm doing a normal only run in Gen Nine. I just realized today I named both my your Ursaring and Snorlax Bear, so I renamed Snorlax to Chonky Bear. Very good, very good. So that's just that's what you gotta do sometimes. Just just fix it up a little. <laughs> Ooh, Growlithe is coming out. Well, luckily for me, I went for return this time. Haha, -ha, get bamboozled. Uh, Soul says for question day says Mindy loves the Everstone. F Wait, who's Mindy? I don't know who Mindy is. Is that like an anime character or something? I'm not familiar. Uh, Jackie says uh, Lieutenant Surge slash Vizquez, uh, assault vest from their time in the army. Oh, that makes sense. That Vizquez is the, the lady who takes over the the... Uh, the Vermilion Gem, right? I think that's who that is. Uh, Sergeant says, also, Chuck should get the Black Belt. I mean, that just makes sense. <laughs> that just makes sense. That just makes sense. Uh, Janita says, I named my Snorlax Winnie. Oh, that's really cute. That's a cute name for a Snorlax. I like it. I like it. Oh, be careful of counter. Oh, that's a good point. I should, I definitely should have been paying more attention there, Jackie. That's a very, very good observation. Uh, this is fine. Uh, actually, is uh, is Crocodile Lady in this house, or is that only in black and white? Oh, she is here. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Arcanine says for question today, says, uh, he always, uh, he always has a, a leftover for his Flapple slash Appleton in case somebody eats their Apple Bot. Wait, who does? Oh, Milo. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was confused for a second. Um, uh, Milo. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I like it. Is there, is there something down here? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Oh, very good, Jackie. Very good. Very fair. Very fair. Uh, Gaming says for question today. Hi, Gaming, by the way. Good to see you. Um... Uh, gaming says Flannery with the heat rock because it's got hot. It, it, it's getting hot in that building. Hell yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Yumi says for question day, Koga's favorite item is the smoke ball and Sabrina's is the twisted spoon. Very. These all make perfect sense. <laughs> very well done. Very well done. I feel like uh, Brock, Brock with the hard stone, you know, makes sense. Frankly, you could probably get away with a lot of those kinds of combos like gym leader plus like, uh, you know, stat boosting item of their respective type. Although I do like Smoke Ball for Koga better than like you know, uh, what's the? It'd be Poison Barb, I guess. Yeah, Poison Barb would it would be. But give Poison Barb to Janine, or hell, maybe just give both of them Smoke Balls. Honestly, <laughs> not a terrible idea. 
Well, I'm just always landing these two arm thrusts. Ooh, I'm getting critical hit, but hey, at least take Rocky Helmet damage. Uh, Cyrus says for question eight, uh, Watson is the magnet to fit the Magnemite mood. No, it makes sense. It makes sense. His ace is, well, according to Ruby, Sapphire, and Auras, his ace is Magneton. Sorry, Emerald fans. <laughs> All right, very good. And I don't think I'm gonna go all the way over. Let's just head over up into the, I'm gonna heal one more time and then we'll go up into the uh, desert resort. I don't know if there's anything we need in the desert resort. I can't think of anything. Um, let me look at my tracker real fast. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think the only thing that we're gonna need, like basically the next time that we're gonna need a Pokemon, it, it looks like, um, it's going to be, we want to get Joltik or Frothorn or Electric or, or Electric or Electros in Charge Stone Cave. Bas so that's basically the next time we can count on getting a Pokemon. Charge Stone Cave. Charge Stone Cave is where we're headed, but it's going to be a while before we get there. We got to do all of, all of Nimbasa and then all of Drifail too. <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll be a while before we get another encounter. That's okay. That's okay. In the meantime, let's just get some uh, get some EXP in. Should I be lucky egging? I always feel... <sighs> I always want to take advantage of, like, my good items, but, like, at the same time, the lucky egg is just so good for experience. I feel like I'm going to fall behind again if I don't use it. <laughs> uh, lucky egg. There it is. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me see. I think I'm going to. Well, actually, not on you. I'll use it on, um... Let's start with... Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start, like, swapping it, like, per level or something. I don't know. I wish there was an easier way to manage items in, in these games, I swear. It'd be kind of annoying sometimes. Okay, let me put over easy out front, and then we'll carry on. All right, very good. Uh, let me catch up on chat a little bit. Yumi says pierces the, th the throat spray. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, Grusha has a love ball because I love him. Oh, very nice, very nice, very wholesome. Uh, Yubi says, uh, fun fact, uh, in the anime, Watson had his Ruby Sapphire team, but then returned later in the season and got an Electric. Oh, very nice, Yubi. That's cool. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Gaming says, another trainer item combo I thought of uh, for question today was Misty from the Cerulean Gym and the Mystic Water. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Makes sense. Uh, Soul Flame says, uh, oh, Soul Flame has a question of the day suggestion. It says, if an NPC was uh, realized in a later generation, what would their ace be? Oh, so like, yeah, 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 if they had like a, a, I think we've done this question before, but it's a really good one. So yeah, we'll, we'll get that written down. That, that can be a future question of the day, absolutely. Uh, Cause yeah, it's a, it's a fun premise. It is a fun premise. Okay, over easy, was over easy, very nice. So many, so many people healing me right now. <laughs> very good. Okay, um, so yeah, let's fight a couple of trainers around here. I don't need to go crazy or nothing, but maybe like a level on everybody would be kind of cool. Oh shoot, I forgot to put my stream manager up. Give me a second, y'all. Give me just a hot second here. Okay, there we go. Now it should be good. Okay, man, look at all these baby Pokemon giving me no XP. Very nice. Uh, Shmelody says, for question day, says, Lieutenant Surge with his iconic black glasses, of course. Yo, that's perfect. Even though it's, like, the wrong, the wrong, like, typing, he would wear them just because they're cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to see a Raichu wearing sunglasses now. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Arcanine says, also, never melt ice uh, works for Grusha because the that describes our relationship. Oh, never melting. Haha, -ha, very good, very good. I'm glad you're such a Grusha fan. Uh, Yumi says, Leon's favorite item is the town map. <laughs> Yo, implying Leon knows how to read. <laughs> very good, very good, Yumi. <laughs> I, do, I do love that, though. Good, good, good gag. Very funny. Honestly, a pretty funny gag uh, all throughout Sword and Shield, to be honest. You know what's really funny? Uh, just speaking of Sword and Shield stuff, I've been seeing a lot of posts on Twitter and then like reaction posts of these other posts that are basically like 
Remember how everyone was all like, oh, Sword and Shield's terrible, the graphics are terrible, blah, blah, blah. And now it's like the, like, it's that, that the what do they call it? Like the Pokemon cycle? Where it's like, <laughs> every time a Pokemon game is like lambasted, a few years later, everyone is just like, actually, it was pretty good. <laughs> it's really funny. But granted, I think in this particular case, I think Scarlet and Violet looking significantly worse than Sword and Shield is, is the reason this time but like still it's just funny because just like yeah, everyone's like uh, sword and shield is terrible actually sword and shield's kind of decent <laughs> it's just really funny you know you're definitely right comfy it definitely it applies to a lot of different things but i feel with that with how big pokemon is um it's just it feels like it's like so much more apparent so much more apparent uh, oh, gaming. Uh, Volo is, uh, he's a Legends Arceus character. He, he's the a ancestor of Cynthia, basically. <laughs> um, so, which is, which is why I think Sol asked. Okay, very good. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, the, the ghost plate, the, the, the Grisha, it, which, I forget which plate he had in the game. Was it the ghost plate? The, um, spooky plate, I think is the one? I think so. Ooh, the wise glasses for him. That makes sense, too. That makes sense, too. Alk says, I'm heading to bed. I have work in the morning. Well, uh, hey, uh, thanks for stopping by, Alk. Um, always appreciate it. We'll see you around. Uh, Shmeldi says, it's happening with X and Y right now. The important thing to realize, most Pokemon games are good. Oh, yeah. No, they're, 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 most of them are good. Most of them are good. My, my stance uh, continues to be that uh, X and Y and Sword and Shield are lacking. That doesn't make them bad, though. Um, but they are lacking, especially Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield had a lot that it needed to make up for, considering that it's also where Dexit happened. For, like, I guess technically Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee was where it really first started, but, um, Sword and Shield took the brunt of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, it has, it has, it had a lot of stuff that it needed to do right, and it didn't, so, yeah, so I, I hold Sword and Shield responsible for a lot of problems that modern Pokemon games have. Um, Scarlet and Violet also have many problems, though. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be excited for, um, for, like, what, 2027? 2027, when everyone says that Scarlet and Violet's graphics aren't that bad. <laughs> it's, like, cool. Uh, no brains. <laughs> no brain cells, not a single one. Ah, oh, very good. Uh, Soul says, I still don't like X and Y. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, on the other hand, are great games, right, Lids? Oh my god, always trying to goad me with that. For what it's worth, they're not terrible. Like, they just have a lot of problems that, like... I, you know, honestly, I feel like I wouldn't hold so much... Um, I wouldn't hold so much weight on my problems with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon if Sun and Moon didn't exist. <laughs> it's more so that they they're they're bad... Um, while the originals are just actively better, that bothers me, I guess. If, if they did just, like, have, like, what it is, and it, then, like, if it was just Ultra in a vacuum and there was no Sun and Moon, like, like, say Ultra was just Sun and Moon, um, I probably would just think they're, like, just fine. They're, like, mid. Um, but under the circumstances, it just makes me angrier. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. We got a question today suggestion from Alk says, What's a, what is a small thing in a Pokemon game that makes you love it so much more? Very nice. Oh, that's an awesome question. That could definitely be a future question of the day. Very nice. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's awesome, Alk. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Okay, Drill Burr. Get him with the return. Arcanist is the first decks that actually happened to Gen 2. I mean, yeah, the, the Gen 2 to Gen 3. But the, that's not really decks it the way that we, like, think of it, though. <laughs> oh, the Glitchmons? No, the, come on, the Glitchmons. I thought you were talking about uh, Gen 2 to Gen 3, like, you couldn't transfer up. That's not really decks it, so yeah. I've heard people, like, lump that in with decks it, and that's, like, not the same thing. <laughs> that's very much not the same thing. Uh, Yumi says, Liz, what's Steven's favorite item? I mean, I would want to say, like, just any generic rock, but, um, I think he actually says in-game that Metagrossite is his favorite, is his favorite stone. <laughs> so, yeah, it's that. 
Uh, Jack, says, I stand by my opinion that Ultra Sun and uh, uh, the Ultra should have just been DLC. Yeah, I I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Like they could have just left the story of Sun and Moon intact and then like added Ultra Recon as DLC. Yeah, like I think that makes sense. They should have done it that way. I agree. Uh, Gaming says no team changes for lit so far. Will it continue? Will this? Uh, will we see the full OG team make it to the Hall of Fame? We've done it before. It's been a while, but we've done it before. Um, I think it was a Gen One playthrough that we did that. That'd be really cool if we could if we could do it again. But it, we'll see. Unova can be kind of tough, so you know we'll figure it out. Is that enough? Do I want to? Let's see. What are, what are my levels looking like? Just got level twenty seven there. Let me give your... Uh, what were you holding again? Oh, shit. I forgot they're all organized. Um, leftovers, I think. Uh, ooh, trivia question. Soul says, you've had a Deathless run before, but how many have you had? I think two. I can't remember what they are, but two sounds right. I have not had very many. Uh, Jack says, I don't think you've ever had a Deathless Unova run, even when over leveling. Like, no, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. That's the thing, is I'm I'm pretty sure that like just in general, I've got like one or two, one or two Deathless runs like total. And one, I think one, they might be, they might be Kanto and Jodo. That sounds right in my head for some reason. Like a Kanto run and a Jodo run. I don't remember which game specifically. I think I well, I think Kanto might have been a blue run. That sounds right to me in my head. But I, I can't really fully remember. Uh, also, did I put a lucky egg on the new guy? Now let me do that. Let me do that. Should I? I wonder if I should be using the experience share too. Did I forget? Does experience share stack with lucky egg? Does anybody know? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, Arcanist says I'm kind of doubting that you can go for no deaths with only to having two fully evolved Pokemon. Yeah, see, that's that's the other thing, too. Yeah, uh, just Embor and Togekiss. No, don't get me wrong. Embor and Togekiss is a great combo of Pokemon, but it, it, it's a lot of weight to carry. <laughs> the, the the Blitzel and the Larvesta and the Muna aren't exactly putting in a whole lot of work here. Um, well, anyway. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, Lucky Egg. Lucky Egg for you, my friend. Okay, there we go. Um, we fought most of the people in the desert, I think. We'll heal up with you real quick, and then we'll head out of here. Uh, Sartre says for question day, says, uh, Blaine and Volkner should be the Magmarizer and Electrizer, respectively. Ooh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to heal twice. Very nice. Okay, let's go. Head out over yonder. Jackie says it does. It cuts, uh, XP cuts it in half. If the lead Pokemon has Lucky Egg, then it's multiplied by 1.5. Okay, so, cool. So I could theoretically, like, start, uh, experience sharing some of my, like, weaker guys, I guess. And then abusing the Lucky Egg. Maybe I will do that, actually. Let me take, I'm gonna take your Eviolite. Just, uh, I'm counting on y'all to remind me to, like, do an Eviolite check before we go into any gyms. I want, I want my Pokemon to always be holding an Eviolite. Like, my unevolved Pokemon, I want them to always be holding an Eviolite. What, no, not not the frickin... Hang on, I didn't mean to do Expert Belt. Uh, before we go into any gems. Experience share, that's what I want. Thank you, Jackie, I appreciate it. I've had four? Yo, I underestimated myself. Very nice. Um, very nice, very nice. Four. Uh, playthrough 32, which was blue. Uh, playthrough 42, which was crystal. 40... I had a Deathless Run in Fire Red. I don't even remember that. <laughs> I remember, I mean, I remember playing Fire Red because I've only played it once. I don't remember that it was a deathless run though. That's awesome. And then let's go, oh, let's go EV run. That makes sense. Cause yeah, I had very limited Pokemon in that run. <laughs> very nice. Well, hell yeah. I'm into that. I'm into that. Four, four deathless runs. Let's go. <laughs> that rules. Okay. Um. Oh, that's right. Join Avenue. Fucking A. <laughs> All right. Join Avenue. Let's do it. Just gotta walk through it real quick. Just mash. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, silly little kitty. <laughs> I love Le Leah. She's she's silly, Arcanine. I like her. I love all y'all's kitties. I sometimes I just I just peek into the little uh animal share chat in the Discord. And uh yeah, it's um it's very good wholesome wholesome vibes in there and I love I love looking at all y'all's kitties and stuff. Okay, uh what's my favorite phrase? Um Uh, how about dank? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice. All right, and then uh, yeah, yeah, war yeah. You already gave me the warning once. I don't need it like a billion times. What do you say when you're impressed? Um. Oh, oh. that's very cute. I didn't think of that. I don't know. <laughs> I'll address you as Mama Mommy. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one from X and Y. What do I say when I'm impressed? Um, uh, hmm. What do I say? What do I say, chat? Help me. Help me. When I'm impressed, I say... Shmeldi says, wait, is it Joint Avenue? I've been saying Joint Avenue this whole time. Is it? Is it Joint Avenue? I don't know. <laughs> We well, actually do say gorgeous a lot, don't I, Yumi? <laughs> Are you calling me out right now? <laughs> I do say that a lot. Gorgeous. Like that. That's the way I do it. That is, um, as, as is often the case with some of the things that I do, um, that's actually a, um, that's actually an Ace Attorney reference. <laughs> that's, that's from the Ace Attorney anime. <laughs> I don't have any mannerisms that are my own. I stole all of them from the internet. Ma -a -a -a. <laughs> you miss Ace Attorney stream win? I'm, I still consider it to this day. I love Ace Attorney. It's like legitimately like it competes with like Zelda and Pokemon for my favorite series of all time. I really do love Ace Attorney. I just don't know if there's like enough people in, in my community who would care. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad, but you know. I should have I, I should have just been an Ace Attorney streamer from the start. <laughs> uh, what's my title? Um, I could do M -M Mommy. I could do um, um, I don't know. <laughs> give me give me a Dom Mom. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, Sarge says, uh, though, when you're impressed, I believe you usually just get flustered and say, what, and hold on. Aww. <laughs> that is true. Uh, call me. The gamer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There we go. Beautiful. I, I like that I left it all caps, too. It's very important. <laughs> okay. Cool. Please, please, tell me they, like, actually say it at least once to me. I want to see, it like, the big text in the middle of the conversation. The gamer. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, anyways. Bye! I don't care about to join... Well, is it actually... Actually, hold on. I have to know. Because uh, uh, Schmelody's got me questioning it now. It is Join Avenue, not Joint Avenue. Okay, I, I knew it was. I, I was pretty sure it was Join. I thought I was going crazy for a second there. It is Join Avenue. Okay, Nimbasa City, here we are. Hey, hi, Nate. Say hi to Nate, everybody. Should I fight him? I could fight him. I could fight him. Actually, I haven't taken any damage, have I? Should I fight? Should I fight Nate in a tag battle against uh, Ingo and Emmett? It's free XP, I guess. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> How can I say Nate is a fucking loser? I don't disagree. Evie Light check. We're not fighting a gym leader, so we're we're good for now. Uh, we we'll, we'll wait until we get to Elisa before we worry about that. This ain't no big thing. Uh, Jackie, uh, Jackie says Ingo and Emmett have Bulldor and Girder, I think. Does that sound right? 
We'll see. We'll see. Gold War and Girder. Okay, yeah, you were you were right. I think I'm leading with Blitzel, so maybe that's this isn't the best one to lead with. <laughs> I mean, we're not like at a like type disadvantage or anything. It's just these guys are kind of strong. <laughs> wow, they're level 26. What the heck? They're literally on par with my team. Um. Okay, I'll go to Ravioli. I will go to Ravioli. Leaf Tornado. I know your brain, your brain is so swollen, Jackie. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Ow, that was a lot of damage. Um, here, let me, will you just kill it for me, Nate? <laughs> Nate, I need your help. I know you call, I called you a loser earlier, but can you be cool? <laughs> Okay, very good. Boldor is down, at least. Stop slapping my pig! Yeah, take your rocky helmet damage, you bastard. Okay, uh, catch this flame charge. Alright, and... Oh, really? Just barely not enough. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and we dodge it. Very good. Uh, let me heal up again. And then if he hits... I mean, the Servine will probably kill. Um, but uh, if it doesn't, then Rocky Helmet will probably do the trick. <laughs> very nice. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, a little bit of extra cash, a little bit of extra XP, we take it. Yeah, I love it. It's kind of weird, uh, too, though, that they, they just have, like, Nate is so unceremoniously just, like, placed here to, like, I guess, advertise the battle subway. But, like, this is all he does the entire game, other than you, I think you fight him as one of, like, the subway, like, people you fight. I don't remember the full details, honestly. I very rarely interacted with the building at all. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just kind of wild to me that they just kind of threw him in. Um, to, uh, uh, Hilbert and Hilda are also, like, at the Battle Subway, even in the original Black and White. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the opposite gendered character is a, is a canonical character in universe, um, parallel to their, to their buddy. Um, and a lot of people don't know because they completely skipped the Battle Subway. <laughs> um, so yeah, good stuff. Uh, Sachi says, hello, hello, just lurking today. Well, have a good lurk, Sachi. Thanks for thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, means a lot. Have a good lurky lurk. Okay, so I guess um, I have options, I suppose. Um, I can go fight more trainers. Or I can try and fight Elisa early. I feel like fighting Elisa early with no coverage for electric is a bad idea, though. <laughs> Um, I guess we should, uh, I guess we should probably go fight stuff. <laughs> I feel like I want to at least be like 28, maybe 29 before we take on Elisa. I don't know about y'all, but I'm noticing that I'm having, I'm having difficulty keeping up with the gym leader's pacing in this game. <laughs> maybe it's just because I'm trying to blitz through too quickly. Maybe I should like, cause if I actively like sought out every single trainer I could, I could fight. Um, then maybe I'd be good, but in the meantime, this has been kind of tricky. It has been kind of tricky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that sounds right, Jackie. Yeah, the, the Pokemon Masters. Yeah, because they have, like, Hilda be the, uh, the Battle Subway. What was, what, I, I forgot what they're actually called. The Battle Subway... Conductor? They don't call them that, surely. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. Whatever. Uh, Jackie says, I have to grind Autono every time in Black 2 and White 2. There's no easy place to overlevel and stay roughly on par. I know. Yeah, it's tricky. It's really tricky. Um, usually what I wind up going with is... um, I usually... Oh, hello. 
Um, I usually wind up going with the uh, the Pokemon breeders. There's one up here. His name is Galen. Um, I remember him because I I grind against him constantly in this game. Um, he has a, a, a Tranquil and a Lipard um, in that order. And he likes to fake out. It's really annoying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, he's who I usually wind up grinding on for a while. I just don't know if I want to do that on stream because I feel like it's going to take like 90 years. Um, and it's going to be really boring, you know? <laughs> but I might, I might be kind of stuck. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Why did I roll out? Oh, thank God he went for an attack. <laughs> I don't know why I went for the rollout. I guess I just saw rock and bird and made the connection there. Um, okay, Sw Swippy Swappy. Get them speed EVs? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, uh, Jax, I usually grind for the wrestling spots just outside the entrance to Lost Horn Forest. Is there a good, like, I mean, you think that I of all people would know the answer to this, but... Uh, is there a good way to get the rustling spots to spawn? Like, I have difficulty getting them to spawn consistently. Is there, like, a method for that that I'm just, like, unaware of? Also, I think it was Yumi who pointed this out to me, but the, um... The cycle, the cyclists in this game will 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 ride their bike at the same speed that you're running, <laughs> which is really amusing. So if I, they just they start zooming, <laughs> it's really amusing. I don't know how I never noticed that growing up, but yeah, they go as fast as you run. <laughs> it's silly. Uh, the key is limiting the number of grass tiles on screen. Oh, interesting. So like, but so like 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 do I just like. What's what what like what's what's your method? You said you you do it like outside of Lost Lorn Forest. What's your method for Lost Lorn Forest? I'm curious. I go down the you go down the left path, stay off the grass near the end, and then go up and down. Wait, off the left path. Off the left path, stay off the grass near the end, like right here, or like on the other side. Oh dang it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that means, Jackie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it seems like it's kind of hard to explain. One of those one of those sorts of things is just not easy to explain. The other side of the grass? Okay. Maybe maybe, maybe we'll see if I can piece it together. I don't know why I just decided to smack the shit out of that Manchino, but I did. Okay, so like right here. Oh, okay. I, I think I see what you mean. So like basically like, like right here, and then just like only have the grass that's like right there be in in view. Is that what you're saying? And then just go up and down. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Am I doing it right? Let me know. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna actually use this method or not, but on the rightmost call, like right here. Does the does the rustling grass or the the dark patches of grass? Oh, they can't spawn rustling grass encounters in dark dark grass. Okay. Oh, look at that! Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yay! <laughs> oh, it's an Audido! Oh! <laughs> look at her! She's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for the experience, Audido. You're very kind to me. So I might not kill you in one shot. Ooh, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Very good. This is the best mid grain grinding spot? Dang, I'm going to keep that in mind. I didn't realize. I thought, first off, I didn't know that rustling grass could not happen in dark grass. That's good to know. Um, but yeah, no, that's that makes sense then. So yeah, you can literally just like run back and forth in place here. That's, that's really cool. That's really good, like valuable information to know. Maybe I could grind then real quick. Do y'all mind? <laughs> Do y'all mind if I like try to exploit this a little bit? Let me put, um, should I, maybe I should do the experience share method then. Just leave ravioli out front. Wait, did I already give somebody the experience share? Who did I give it to? Uh, Scale Deer? Yes. Did Scale Deer. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, we'll try it. Yo, Rule Baker, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Show me, I don't know. 
Come on. How, about how long in between uh between intervals do you think it usually? Oh my god, that's so quick. What the hell? What's the what's what would you say the average is, Jackie? How long does it take? Oh, also Emolga, random Emolga. Didn't know y'all were here. Well, I don't want to fight an Emolga. No, go away. <laughs> Oh, I should probably hop on my bike, huh? Yay! <laughs> Wait, do do rustling grass? Do rustling grass? Um. Oh, one spawned over there. Very good. <laughs> I was gonna say, do they do they happen when you're on the bike? But I guess they do. <laughs> that answers that. I suppose I should put up the grinding banner. It was broken last time I tried to use it. Um, but just so folks know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been a while since I since I had to like truly grind on stream. But I, I feel like I should. So why is it not? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with it, but I fixed it. Very good. Very good. Okay, yeah, we grinding. We gr we grinded. I'd like to be prepared for Elisa. I think it makes sense. And we could just chit chat uh, in the meantime. So yeah, how's chat doing? <laughs> Tell me about your day. Well, whilst we grind away, about thirty seconds to one minute. Okay, cool. So it's not too bad then. It's not too bad. Oh gosh, darn it! We're so close. Okay, go for a flame charge. Arcanine says I started. Ooh, you started cross stitching for real though. That's cool. That's really cool. I love that. What what sorts of things do you like to stitch? Uh, Real Baker says I just watched the FNAF movie, the 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 Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Very nice. I'm not I'm not like I don't like dislike that series. I just I'm not like a fan of it, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. But that's cool. I've heard I've heard good things. The only thing I know about that movie is that Markiplier's not in it. <laughs> that is all I know because I saw it as like a headline on my, my like recommended news on my cell phone. <laughs> I don't know why because I'm not a Markiplier fan or a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, but the internet decided that I needed to know about that. So now I do. <laughs> uh, Jackus has just came home from another work day in another state. Uh, hour and a half each way it's brutal. oh that does sound brutal is that like a regular thing you have to do it seems like you're always traveling jackie that's so that's so much i couldn't stand having i don't like commuting more than 20 minutes let alone like across state lines <laughs> maybe that's just me oh my god that's so quick oh I, I i can't believe i did not know this before jackie thank you for the the heads up did not realize that this was such a good spot for this <laughs> Uh, you mean, is it the creator of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's homophobic or something? I don't think so. I think that was like a rumor or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about. It. I don't like. I don't like making those kinds of statements without like actually having it be substantiated. I don't just like taking people's words for it. <laughs> um, but I don't. I don't know the details for it at all. Every Wednesday? Oh my god, Jackie, how do you do it? How do you, how do you, oh my god, I couldn't, I couldn't stand that. That would drive me insane. <laughs> like, I don't like driving, like, just by itself, let alone, yeah, like, regularly for work. That sounds, that sounds excruciating. Oh, I see, I see. And it sounds sounds. I mean, hopefully, it at least pays well. Do you do you get pay? Uh, just out of curiosity, again, feel. Oh my God, Sanchino, hello. Um, feel free to share only as much as you feel like. Uh, you know, up to sharing. I don't want to like pry too much into your personal life, but like, um, yeah. Do you um, with, with a job like that, do you get like paid like like commute? Oh, the, the you the, okay? Yeah. Uh, you charge mileage for it, which is like nice. okay. So you do get at least paid for your gas. That's good. That's good. Are you are you on the clock while you're driving as well? I hope so. I hope so. Like I I hope it's like paid for paid for mileage and also paid for time. That would be like the most ideal. 
it pays well, but it's pretty soul destroying. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, I mean, it, I guess at least the pay is good. <laughs> what can I say? Um, and are these are the uh, out of curiosity, Jackie? Are these Cinchinos worth it? Um, cause uh, you seem kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know if the XP XP is worth it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna skip it. I couldn't get away. Nice. Gotta love it. My favorite, favorite stinking mechanic. Whatever. Arm thrust. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, no. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. Oh my god, stop. Stop! Oh! Yeah, they're not worth it. <laughs> they're not worth it. Can confirm. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my god, they give me like no XP! What the hell? All that stress for nothing. <laughs> they are absolutely not worth it. <laughs> that was horrifying. Yeah, the auto is way faster. Absolutely. Not worth it at all, said Chino. Good lord. Gave like no XP. Yeah, that's obnoxious. That's obnoxious. <laughs> that was really scary for a second. We were just talking about, um, we are just talking about me, like, can I do a, a, a Deathless Unova run? I was looking a little bleak for a second there. <laughs> yep, very spooky. Come on, Autono, where are you? I am the, the, the Autono Whisperer. Come to me, my, my friend. This weird delay, like right as you like run into a wall with the bike, that's kind of annoying. It's not as it's not as seamless as it is like um in uh Gen 3. Gen 3 bike is so good. Mock bike supremacy for real though. Come on, I don't know. I should get some speed up going. I don't know. Where are you? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner, Janina. That's a great point. I'm just sitting here, just like like running back and forth in real time. God, this is a long one. Wheelies are cool, but speed is better. I agree. I agree. Where's that rustling patch? This one's taking a while. It's not like hiding from me, is it? No, I don't think so. I still don't see another one. Oh, if it doesn't spawn for a while, go into the warp and then come out. It's, it, does that mean it's like probably spawned somewhere like a little off screen or something? That would be my guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what you said. <laughs> Very good. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, now we know. There we go. The, the, the bike is a little un unwieldy. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's keep the speed up going. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I wish I had a stronger arm thrust or arm thrust fighting move. It's it's not putting in nearly as much damage as I would have expected on these autonos. <laughs> Very good. Um, scale deer. Almost at level 28. Very good. What am I? Am I shooting for 28s across the board? I feel like at least 28s across the board is reasonable. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true, Jackie. Arm thrust is just kind of bad. True. Very true. Uh, Arcanist, I posted my pro uh, my progress on the cross stitching. If you guys are interested in this girl, oh, heck yeah, I'll have to take a look at that after stream. Um, but yeah, that'll be that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Back says an Ember doesn't learn hammer arm by level up, you have to relearn it. Oh, I see. That's really annoying. Jack says I usually go 30 here. I mean 30 makes sense because it's literally on par with Elisa. Um But yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's it, it's just a lot of work <laughs> because I have a lot of Pokemon. I hate I I really don't like grinding on stream. It's like one of my least favorite things. I probably what I should have done is I should have just gone first off, I should have just looked um I should have just looked up what Elisa's actual level was and grinded all the way to it, honestly. 
I think that's what I'll do for Clay. Because uh, obviously, like, it, uh, based on, like, our on the time, I doubt we'll actually get to Clay today. So we'll probably, we'll probably fight him, um, we'll probably fight him, uh, like, on, like, basically where I'm already on par with him. Like, I'll grind up to his level before, um, before next stream. I think it makes sense. Uh, Jackie says, Castelia's auto no patches are great for that level of the game, and you can uh, get pretty comparable EXP uh, to here, but slightly less. I see, I see. Good to know, good to know. I think I'm going to do 28. I think I can get away with 28. Maybe it's maybe it's risky, an unnecessary risk perhaps, but I think I, I'm willing to... I'm willing to take that gamble. Uh, let me Eevee Light back up on you, because you're done. Uh, we'll go ahead and get Nardle up. Oh man, I hate how cumbersome the menu is sometimes, I swear. <laughs> Not the lucky egg. No, I need the experience share. Oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong buttons! Ah! <laughs> it's so cumbersome! EXP share. There we go. Okay, let's go. I suppose I could also fight um, this this dude in here. Also worth noting. Are you still holding a lucky egg? You are. Um, yeah, let me. I'm gonna fight Galen as well. He's my boy. He's my boy. He's kind of rude though, because he, he admittedly his Pokemon are kind of annoying, because he he likes to spam detect and fake out, uh, which is really annoying. <laughs> I probably will go ahead and grind on him. Wow, that was a lot of damage. But I guess it's a Blitzel, so it makes sense. Okay, and then Lipard. We'll swap to Ravioli. He's probably going to fake me out on this turn, so I'm just going to heal real fast. There we go. Oh, that's nice, Arcanine. That's that's wholesome. That's wholesome. Uh, gaming says Elisa still haunts me. Fuck her, Amolga. I know, I know. I'm glad she... I think she gets rid of one of them in this game. She still has one, but she doesn't run two of them in this game, which is nice. <laughs> there we go. Some decent XP. Not as much as the Autodo, though. <laughs> Come on. And I feel I feel really bad that I didn't that I didn't grind it like in advance. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh well. Okay, come on, Audino, where are you? Uh, Jackie says, I'm, I, I'm also going to be grinding affection. Oh, very good. Are you playing right now as well? Very good. Very good. Does she have her time? No, I don't think so. I think she's using, um, I think she's using, uh, Emolga, Flaffy, and, um, Substrika. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Ooh, Omega Ruby. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I hope you have fun. Oh, I forgot to switch. Oopsie poopsie. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Toxic, I guess. I toxic an auto No, that's terrible. That's terrible. I don't like that. Oh, yo, but she refreshes. Yo, I had a distant regret, and now I have. Now I feel fine again. <laughs> She's such a good healer. <laughs> oh, I love. I love auto -no. I love how how silly and peanutty she is in this game. <laughs> that's awesome, Arcanine. Heck yeah. Hey, Dapper Kirby, welcome in. Yeah, we're actually we're actually uh, Autono grinding. So yeah, uh, welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Well, she's being a little rude though, slapping me around. Yeah, how are you doing today, Dapper Kirby? It's so good to see you. It's 
stream's a little boring right now, but I'm trying to keep things entertaining if I can. Oh no, my controller! Grr. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It fixed itself. I don't know why- I still don't know why it does that. It's very, very confusing to me. Hey, an Ardol hits 27. Very good. Oh, and you're trying to evolve. Nope. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, come on. Give me another one. Give me another auto oh, no. Uh, Yumi says in the anime, Elisa worked around Tainubo's inability to learn more than a few moves by training her, uh, so her tackle was extremely powerful, causing Pikachu, Pikachu to struggle. Oh, that's, that's cute. Actually, that does sound really familiar. I think I may have watched that episode. Maybe. Oh, Liz says hi. Hi, Liz. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Good, or, well, I guess good to hear from you. <laughs> good to see you. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> but yes, Hello. <laughs> Demokarese is very, uh, very tired. Work's been busy, but I'm glad I finally got to make a weekday stream again. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I know, I know you've been busy with, with the work, and uh, it is, uh, it is very valid. I can respect it. Oh shit! I think I, for I forgot to put, I forgot to put uh, <laughs> Pig Knight back up front. No, slow down. <laughs> Tynemo was her ace. That's so cool. That's so cool. What, a, what a fun, what a fun, uh, what a fun way to do it. Oh yeah, I've got the I've got the lids cams everywhere, Arcanine. The 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 Elidzanati <laughs> is is watching all of you. Good stuff. Ooh, get the crit. Very nice. Another one down. Slow down hits twenty seven as well. Very nice. No, slow down. You can't evolve. I'm sorry. All right. Come on now. Show me another. I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish I wish I had a way to make this a little bit more entertaining for y'all, but I am struggle busting here. I will I will definitely keep this in mind for the future. For sure. Oh shoot, I almost forgot to I almost forgot to freaking uh switch slowdown back out front. Okay, here we go. That should be good. <laughs> <laughs> 